There it is, the Nissan New View city car concept that will be hopefully the basis for the production model of the Project Better Place car for the future. Okay, so this is Mia from Nissan. And uh, Mia, tell me a bit about your job. What do you do? I'm the design and technology manager at Nissan Europe. And as you may know, our Nissan Europe headquarters are based in France. Okay, and uh, tell, how much involvement have you had with the new view then? Well, the car is being unveiled here in Paris at the Paris Motor Show, and we're showing it to people like you for the first time two weeks before the actual show starts. Uh, so I'm here to explain to the media all about the car. Okay, tell me about range and top speed and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the range for this car, um, it's uh, 125 kilometers. So basically that means if you charge the battery full, you can go for about 125 kilometers before you have to recharge. Okay. Now it takes about three to four hours to charge the car at home. But if you have a quick charge station, uh, it should only take about 10 to 20 minutes. Excellent. The top speed on the car is about 120 kilometers. But, you know, you don't need to go much faster than that in the city, so... No, we, sure. We feel that that's adequate. Okay. And tell me a bit about the production car at the end of the day, when you think, you know, I mean, this, is, this forms the basis of a car that Nissan want to build as a city car for, 20, for 2010 release date? Well, 2010, the car coming out in 2010 is going to be a different car from this. Um, but we foresee that we're going to have a lineup of EV cars in the future. And this will be one of them. I mean, this small sized car will be one of those cars for the future. So possibly a time for Project Better Place and the, and the type of vehicle that's going to be released for Project Better Place all over the world? Yes, um, this, this, yeah, we're, we're looking at global release for, for our EV cars. Great. Is it coming out in Japan first, this, this vehicle? Um, well, this particular vehicle, I can't really tell you any details about okay. where or when. But the EV coming out in 2010, that will start in Japan and the US, and then it will be sold globally in the rest of the world by 2012. Okay, there's one thing I want to ask you, sure. which is that um, Mitsubishi yeah. and Subaru have been promising yeah. us things like the R1e and the iMiE for yeah. a while. It yeah. just hasn't really materialized. Do you think, do you think 2010 is a realistic date? Uh, well, we're confident that we're going to be bringing out the car, and I mean, sooner or later, you're going to be, see, be seeing the prototype for the EV for 2010. So you think we're, we're actually going to have choice as EV drivers, like in a couple oh, of years' yes, time? Oh, yes, definitely. definitely. Not, we're not just restricted to the G whiz and the, no, and no, the Think? No, no, Well, and Think's not out yet, anyway. <laughs> and we, we also have a uh, battery-producing company. As you may know, we set up a joint venture with NEC Group about uh, two years ago, and they will be producing the batteries for these cars. Okay, and so you're, you're, going, you're betting on lithium-ion technology for all yes, the batteries? Yes, we were actually the first car maker to come out with a lithium-ion powered car back in 1996. What was that? With the Prairie Joy. Okay, yeah. oh, that's good. So we've been involved in lithium-ion battery technology, uh, research and development since 1992. So we've had, we've had a long history in this. Do you, you don't have any worries about heat and all that kind of stuff that everyone no, freaks out we, about with lithium-ion yeah, batteries? People are, a lot of people are talking about that. Yeah. But uh, our batteries are flat and they're laminated, and so we believe that technology will prevent overheating. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Can't wait to see it. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, that was nearly the wall. Just pulled it back from the brink. 